Compound interest. Compound interest occurs when interest is added to the principal and then reinvested. This in turn results in the interest earning interest in addition to the principal. The nature of compounding interest is that the capital sum accelerates quickly, having the additional sums added to the original amount. If you are an investor, it can work to your advantage. Albert Einstein has referred to compound interest as the eighth wonder of the world. If we look at the example here, if we had $500 as an initial deposit and we earned interest of 5% in the first year, we'd have a capital sum of $525. If in year two, we invested the interest and the capital would rise to $551.25. By the 10th year, we can see that our original $500 has actually grown to $814. And by 30 years, if you're that patient, your capital sum would have grown to $2,160. This is the power of compounding interest. If you have a term deposit of $1,000, the following, following diagram shows you the benefits of how the compounding interest can work in your favour. Assuming that you invest this at 8% for 20 years, you can see the original $1,000 has actually grown to $4,316 over this period of time. There is, however, a downside of compounding interest. And it can actually work in reverse and to your disadvantage when you allow the interest on a loan to be added onto the original amount. For example, a $1,000 loan compounded at 8% can mean that after five years you owe $1,360. This is what commonly happens with everyone's credit card, where their interest is simply added onto the original amount they owe. And over time, it can cause quite a nasty surprise for everyone concerned.